In case you haven't noticed, along with Auto Moments, I also work on the TV show Motor Week. I hope you enjoy this segment I produced for them, and of course, remember to subscribe to both Auto Moments and Motor Week on YouTube. Thanks. Cities choking on smog. Traffic fatalities on the rise. Although people loved their muscle cars, the casualties of Detroit's horsepower war made Washington put the brakes on the auto industry. By the early 70s, the muscle car market was dying. The cause? Increased prices for fuel and insurance combined with government regulations for safety and emissions. By 1975, all that remained were a few last gasps. While it may not induce heavy breathing, this 1975 Chevrolet Chevelle Laguna Type S3 tries to carry the torch of its muscle car ancestors. The downsized third generation Chevelle debuted in 1973, and the Laguna Type S3 model followed a year later, replacing the Chevelle SS, at least in spirit. The unusual plastic shovel nose came in 1975, and although Chevy didn't officially support racing, the Laguna was clearly designed for NASCAR. That odd aerodynamic nose helped it dominate the track, winning two Winston Cup championships before the league caught on and banned this limited production model from competition. This street legal version has window louvers, rally wheels, and all those things that look fast but don't actually improve performance. Zero to 60 takes well over 10 seconds, so it's no super sport. And this car's three-speed automatic doesn't help. There's this dead spot above 30 miles per hour where you stomp the pedal and the car gets louder, but you don't go any faster. And then finally, it triggers a downshift into second and things pick up a little bit, but it's still not a white knuckle, edge of your seat kind of experience. Blame it on this 350 cubic inch V8 that only makes 145 horsepower. It's a good engine, just strangled by early pollution control equipment. An optional 400 cubic inch V8 added 30 more horses. You could get a 454 big block in other Chevelle models, but sadly it was not available on Laguna. Compared to older muscle cars, the Laguna definitely feels quieter and more refined. Perhaps GM compensated the loss in performance with an increase in luxury. Either way, the Laguna's slow sales caused Chevy to drop the model after 1976. A three-year lifespan and only 32,680 copies makes the Chevrolet Chevelle Laguna Type S3 a rare car. However, modern-day prices between $2,500 and $8,500 don't reflect that. The Laguna Type S3 will always stand in the shadow of older, more popular Chevelles, but it's still an important part of American muscle history. If you're willing to sacrifice some performance for extra comfort and a NASCAR pedigree, chances are you'll have the only one at your local show. People still worry about regulations killing off performance cars, but if the past proves anything, manufacturers will always find a way to pass the rules and make cars even faster. And that's a good reason for all of us to breathe easy.